thank you for joining me today. We are going to make this cute little bunny gnome. He turned out just adorable. And I'm going to show you how I made his ears and everything. He even has little pads on his feet. You guys have to tell me how cute he is. He is adorable. And his little tail. Bunny's got to have a tail. So I'm going to show you how I made him. It's very easy. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to join my crafting community and click on that subscribe button. When you hit the bell, that will notify you each time I upload a new video. If you have already subscribed, thank you for joining my crafting community and supporting me. I appreciate it very much. So let's get going and make this cute little guy. So we're going to make our Easter Bunny Gnome. He is so cute. Just like I showed you in the intro video, his little tail. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I made him. You're going to take a piece of fabric and this is a snow leopard fur that I get from Joann's. And it is about 15 inches by 16. So somewhere in there, it depends on how big your sock is and how big you're gonna make your gnome. So I got a piece of cardboard we're going to put in the sock to um, so that our bunny can stand up. And then I will add some rice so that it weights it down, about a cup. And all of my, my rice, my stuffing, um, the material I use for my noses, or it's linked in the description box below. So I've linked all that down there. Um, the fur I got at Joann's, the fabric for the noses I got at Joann's. So, and depends on the sock you use. This sock is really stretchy, so you're going to end up um, stuffing it a lot more. Sometimes you kind of have to know when to stop stuffing it. And then just make sure that you got, there isn't any big old lumps or bumps. And, and then I'm not going to tie it off for his head. Because I want to be able to either stuff it or unstuff it if I have to. So I'm going to do that. And then we're going to take our... Um, fur and wrong side up get your string and that's linked in the description box I get mine from Hobby Lobby it was on sale so all that's linked down there so we're just going to take and gather this up just like I do all my other gnomes this one I'm just not tying off the body and then gather that up fur gathered. You got your string like this. You're going to take one and wrap it around and then turn it over and you're just going to, you're not going to tie it on, you're just going to tie it and then you're going to pull it. So then you're able to tighten it up without it having, without it coming undone on you. And I'm trying to move it up a little bit. And then I'm just going to cut some of this off. And then we're going to tie what is our surgeon's knot. Is you loop it over three times. And then tighten it. And then I do a regular knot. Cut it about a half inch from the knot. And then cut your excess off. I have already, well make sure you pull this up first before you cut it. Mine looks pretty good. So you can save this and you can use this for your ears, maybe your ears, um, your nose, maybe your arms, your feet for sure. And I will show you how I did the feet. So I'm just going to set that aside. So I'm just going to leave his head right now until I decide, until we get to that point. 
So I have his nose and I have a video linked below on how I do his nose. And then find out what you want as the front. I take the nose and the top of the string is on top. It's not underneath. And then I wrap it around, take it, wrap it around the front, and then I can pull it. Don't pull on the nose itself because then it will come undone. So then do, I always do the surgeon's knot and tie that off, cut the excess and his beard. I um, cut the backing and I, um, it was kinked. And this is what it looked like before I blow dried it with the hot blow dryer and that's how smooth it gets. It works great. And then you just want to cut the backing. So I'm going to cut this down at an angle to a point. You don't want to cut through all the fur, otherwise you're going to cut the fringe and the fur off. And I'm going to cut this down because it's going to be a little long. And you could save this. You can maybe use that for a gnome for a mustache or something. And then you're going to cut a U-shape where his nose is going to go. And there'll be some excess fur. Pull that off. So that's what we have. Okay, so we're going to glue that underneath his nose. You're going to pull his nose up. You're going to get some hot glue on it first. So the hot glue goes on the bottom of the U-shape. Pull his nose up. Make sure those gathers of that nose stay underneath the beard. Press it down. And then these little tabs alongside his nose, you're going to glue those down. Just like we do in our other gnome videos. Just make sure you don't get any glue on the nose because you won't get it off you'll ruin it so there we have that and then his hat um, I'm not going to do this until I try his hat on um, so I I sewed let's see from the show you from the blacks the dark side I sewed from here up and left about a two inch opening for his ears and then sewed back down here so it's kind of like at a pyramid, and I'll when I cut it and turn it inside out, I'll see if it fits, if I need to sew it, if it's too big. But you need an opening up here. So we sew from here, from the bottom up, at an angle, and then leave that open, and then sew down at the other angle. So let's trim this off. top stuff here don't trim that off that's going to get tucked in the hat so that's what we have because our stitching is right about here so I have this excess to tuck in and then I'm going to turn it I'm kind of going over the garbage so that I can get my fur off so now before I do anything with this hat or his head I'm going to try this on, and that looks good. I like that. I like so it's kind of nice and tight, and this is going to get tucked in. So let's tie off his head, and then we'll cut that excess off. And we can do, we'll do his arms before we glue his hat on. You can do it before or after on the one I did. This one, I glued him on after, and you can't really tell it all kind of blends in I mean yeah if you look you can but it's not like one of my other gnomes cut that off cut this excess sock and then his arms I glued just a uh, tube left it open at both ends it's about six inches by about three and then you're going to turn that inside out. And I got my turner. It has an angle on it. 
And then this side is rounded. I got it at a rummage sale. I believe it's for sewing and stuff. So if you can't find one, you can make one out of a dowel rod. It's just like either cut or file the one end down to an angle. Make sure it's smooth. And then round the other end. I use this all the time. It works great with the, the um, end that's angled to poke it through. So then we're just going to take, and I glued a little pom-pom in for his paw. So you're just going to put a little bit of glue on the inside of the arm. And then tuck this in. You want it to poke out a little bit. But you have to get it in there enough so it's going to be glued. So just like that. Okay. And I always try to make sure I do, do the seam side down. And brush, get his fur out of the way, his beard. And then you want to see how long you want his arms to be. Okay. And if you have to cut some of the excess off, you can do that. And I have to turn it around here so I can see what I'm doing. And then you're just going to glue it around the side. So I've glued it in the back of his head, it's right here to the side. And then if I had to cut that off, I could. Then I'm going to take my other one, make sure the seam side is down. And then you're just going to make sure that both of the arms are even. i got to turn around so I can see. Okay, so right about there. And then I got my carrots that I used at Hobby Lobby. I couldn't find any more. I think they're out of them. I think they had them online though. Um, and I was going to order some because I really liked them. They had some at the Dollar Tree, but the Hobby Lobbies were nicer. So there we have his arms. They're glued around the back of his head. And now we can put his hat on and we're going to glue that on. So then you want to tuck the arms under his hat. Okay. And there's going to be the two seams. They're going to go down along the side of the hat that we sewed. It's going to go down along the side. Okay. So just get those arms tucked under and flip the back up like this and then just put some glue on where his arms are not too far down because you the, you got to make sure the hat is going to cover it and then pull that hat down so it covers them and then press it and then we're going to glue the sides And if you have any little seam, you can tuck that under. So glue both sides. Make sure that the beard and all that is tucked underneath there. You can do this with just like some regular fabric. If you just want to do fur ears, you can do it with whatever you want. So, and then just fold this up for the nose. And I'm going to take and put a little bit of glue down in that crease of the nose so that it doesn't come undone and then make sure you pull that down try not to get your fur stuck in the hot glue and then I save an old toothbrush so that I can brush his beard and if the beard, if you if the beard is too long, you can cut it shorter. And his ears. I sewed his ears so that it I started kind of in at an angle and then gradually came out. So it looked kind of like a leaf, like the shape of an ear. And then went down. And then I turned it, I cut the excess off, and then turned it inside out, 
cut a piece of pink felt in about the same shape, smaller, and hot glued that on. Okay, so we're going to do the ears. I have some um, pipe cleaner that I cut, oh, probably a couple inches off of the end, and that I put some um, white fleece or felt or whatever around the end so that it doesn't poke through. And we're going to put that in the ear so that we can make these bendable. If it's still too long, you can just fold it up and slide it in there and then add a little bit of glue inside the ear and around the pipe cleaner and then that will secure it so it doesn't move and I did the other one the same way. It doesn't matter what color pipe cleaner because it's not going to show. So it's just better than using plain wire. And then put, got to try to open it and find the opening for the fur. And then put the your nozzle of your glue gun in there and then just squirt some glue gun. Oh, some glue gun. Squirt some glue. And then squeeze that shut. And then we're going to put these inside his, his, the top of his hat. So you're going to want to tuck that excess fabric in. Just so we, and we left that so we don't have that raw edge. And we're going to put that in and we're going to move it over to the side of the hat and then put some glue in there. Make sure you get it on the ear, but so it doesn't show. And then get the other ear in there and make sure you have them however long you want them sticking out or in because once you glue them and get them in there, you're not going to be able to move them. So let me take a look. Because I don't want to get have one really short ear. So just like that. And then we can bend them. Just like that. And that is cute. I got to look at them. Okay. And now we're going to do his tail. And his tail, I just took a a piece of the fur about 4 inch diameter and made a gather around it with some of the crochet thread and leave some ends so you can put your stuffing in. And we're going to make a ball. So kind of like a pom-pom. So you kind of have to put it in pull up the gathers and keep poking it in as you're pulling up the thread to close up that hole to make a ball. And then you kind of have to hold on to it and hang on to the thread. Put your fingers on one side or one part of the thread and hang on to it. So if you tie it and then do that and hang on to where you tied it and then tie a few knots and then cut that excess off but don't cut too close to the string because that will get covered up so if you leave a half inch and there we have our tail so we're going to glue them on you want to make sure it's in the center of the back down from the middle like of the hats and be careful of how much glue you put on so it doesn't squirt out and then we're just going to let that sit. So press it down, make sure it's even and his hat is all covering his arms and there we have our tail. Isn't that cute? I just love it. Okay, and his feet, I did his feet. I got some really thick felt, white felt, and I'll link that below. I got some regular pink felt, cut little circles out, and then an oval for his pad. And I took and I glued that on to a piece of the fur on the wrong side. And then we're just going to cut the excess off. 
and we have his little feet. And this one looks a little long, so I'm just going to cut it off. And it's going to freeze, so if you shake it in the garbage, and if some of the fur looks a little long, you might have to trim it. And this one is a little smaller, so I'm going to trim it. But I just thought this was a cute idea, just to give him some little sh um, feet and not um, very hard at all. Okay, so we have his feet done and his arms, his head, his uh, ears. We have his tail done. So let's get his feet glued on. And I showed you how I did that. Um, very easy. I get the thicker felt. It works out better. And then just keep your scrap pieces when you cut off your excess. And we're just going to put a little bit of glue right there on that one edge. And it doesn't need a whole lot. And if you need to glue it after, I would get his beard out of the way. And I kind of like to point him out a little bit. So I'm trying to do this when I'm facing you guys. I got to do it so I can see so I don't get him crooked. And then if you need to cut some of the fur, I've kind of had to trim on his um, feet. So I got these at Hobby Lobby. And I like them. They look more realistic than the ones I got at... Dollar Tree. So we're going to glue these in his arm right over here. So I'm just going to glue these two together. There's fur all over them. So yeah, if you're allergic to fur and this stuff bothers you, I mean, they're fun to do. You might have to wear a mask because yeah, the fur, it just, the fur's a flying. So I just glued those two together and I'm just going to glue them right in his arm a little bit like he's holding on to them. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom and then just wrap it around and then we'll probably have to glue like right behind the carrots and his paw a little bit and then just hold that in there. I'm going to turn it so I can see. Okay, so we got him all done. We got everything, his carrots. Um, you could do, if you wanted to do the sign, you could do the sign. I made it out of one that I got in a package from the Dollar Tree. And I used a white paint pen and wrote Happy Easter. So you could do that. You could do write something else. Um, you could put flowers in his arm. I kind of made his this arm so I could put something through it so it wouldn't be totally glued in there so you could just set it in there kind of like this and it would um, you could take it out if you wanted so you can do that um, if uh, anything I make on my videos is for sale if you're interested um, go into my channel Nancy's Handmade Crafted Creations check in the about section and my email is in there and email me if there is anything you're interested in send uh, what you're thinking about what you want to purchase and then I can get a price to you I do have a PayPal account so it would have to go through that um, uh, if you have any comments or any questions leave them in the comment section below there is um, in the description box what we use today and um, the links. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to join my crafting um, community and hit that subscribe button. And when you click on that bell, that will notify you each time I upload a new video. You must have your notifications turned on in your settings for that to work with that when you click on that bell. If you have subscribed to my channel, thank you for supporting me and joining my crafting community. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for joining me today. You have a great day. Bye-bye.